What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock news update. Today, we're doing a Gamecock review. We're talking about the Gamecocks win 46-0 against the St. Andrews uh, Panthers. Before I go any further, man, if you like the content, please, first, like the video. Helps out a ton. Two, you want to then subscribe to the channel. Trying to get to 5,000 by December. Subscribe to the channel. Also, notification bell. Notification bell. I know every time I drop a video. And a three, share the video. Uh, it helps out a ton. So, thank y'all so much that was on my live. My live actually went down because my Wi Fi went down and I couldn't get back onto the live. So, I had to cancel it. So, thank y'all so much for allowing that to happen, man. That's awesome, man. We're going to get into this real quick. So, if you saw my live, I went into these different points, but if you didn't see it, I'm just going to go basically point by point what I was trying to make, man. For first point that I want to make is Zeb Nolan looks like the quarterback for South Carolina football. And here's why I say that. South Carolina, to me, at first didn't know anything about Zeb Nolan. Yes, he played at North Dakota State behind Trey Lance, and he did play at Iowa State before transferring down to uh, LBS to LCS, and he was a graduate assistant for Shane Beamer in June. That's all we knew about him. When Luke Doty was hurt, he was introduced as the guy. The only thing that, for me, that I was like, hmm, I don't know, because of the unassured factor. This game, he had 132 yards, four touchdowns, didn't give up the ball, made smart decisions. He had a one additional grounding play, but that was particularly it. But I think that if we have a quarterback that doesn't make mistakes, that uh, can be a game management with our running game, we don't really need a wide receiver like that because we're using our tight ends like crazy. Uh, Bell, number zero, went straight ham. Z White went straight ham. Monshawn Lloyd looks like a beast. Okay, and then we got Juju. So Kevin may not even get time like that because he's injured and we're getting to see a lot other backs so i think zeb nolan moving forward is the quarterback for the south carolina game cops we're gonna see how he does against eastern carolina next week but i like what i see the second thing that i saw was josh brown does not seem ready for prime time even at an lcs opponent he did fumble the ball and he looked shaky as he came in the game i didn't think that he capitalized on his opportunities I thought that they was going to let him loose because uh, Zeb did his job. Now, he could come in and kind of say, look here, y'all made a mistake. That fumble did not help his cause. I think moving forward, he is going to move back down the depth chart because in Beamer we trust, he looks like the better option for the South Carolina Gamecocks. And I thought that the run game was crazy. I thought that Josh Van... I look pretty good. I thought that our tight ends, man, uh, Nick Muse, Bell, uh, EJ Jenkins didn't even get – he had a touchdown uh, that Zeb threw over his head, but that was a good placement of the ball. He would throw it so high that nobody can catch it instead of throwing it there and can cause an interception. He had made a great play. It was three defenders. He threw it right between coverage as Nick Muse caught it for the touchdown. So I like that at all. Our defense, man, looked it nasty. Uh, don't know how many tackles that we had. Don't know any of that. But what I do know, what I do know, we had two pick sixes, one taken back. We had two block punts. We had an extra point. I mean, a two-point conversion converted. It seemed like the Beamer ball is strong in South Carolina. And that's one thing that we wanted to see as South Carolina fans that we didn't get to see with Will Muschamp. We want our team to go for it and give it everything they have. Even if we lose, we want our team to give us everything that we have and to have that was 100% awesome. Another thing that I, I, I didn't like that I think was first game generous was uh, dumb penalties, man. We had a holding, play, a holding penalty that, that took a Bell touchdown, run the touchdown back. We also had a pick six taken back for a holding penalty. Also, during special teams, we had a block in the back and a holding penalty as well. So we had to clean those things up. South Carolina, for us to win games, we shouldn't. We have to be a very disciplined team. So I like what I see right there. Um, we, 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 if those two touchdowns stood, we would have beat them by, it would be my five or six touchdowns. It would probably be my seven or eight touchdowns. And we gave them a zero boy. 
I love the fact that we gave them a zero boy. So, what I expect next week, man, I expect the same thing when it comes to the South Carolina game because it's Eastern Illinois. Same thing. Can we put up a zero bunny? Who knows? But let me know what you think about the comment section below. Sorry, guys. My Wi-Fi went out. That's why it went blank. But y'all showed me support, and guess what? I'm going to have to go live more often. I'm going to have to go live more often. It felt good to connect with you guys and talk with you guys. I was more hyped on that because you guys was there. So once again, it's the entertainer, motivated, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Gamecock news update. And yes, the Gamecocks beat the St. Not St. Andrew. Excuse me. I think my Presbyterian. East Illinois Panthers 10-0. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> it's the next time, people.